Up to 75% of human infectious diseases originates in animals. And as more bushmeat is brought into our cities, the risk of human infectious disease outbreaks increases. Ebola, monkeypox, Lassa fever, yellow fever, and even COVID-19 may have been transmitted in this way. Illegal bushmeat trade not only endangers our wildlife, but affects our health and may damage our economy. So please, say no to illegal bushmeat. Keep them wild and keep us safe. There's a massive uh, desertification that's just coming in. And there's also a lot of uh, terrible coastal erosion that's happening all along our coast. He spoke to us on a number of issues on why it is important to see the environment as people's support for life. Hear him. There's a massive uh, desertification that's just coming in. And there's also a lot of uh, terrible coastal erosion that's happening all along our coast. At the same time, the biodiversity loss is beginning to express itself now, especially with the avifauna and the flora as well. We're seeing it, uh, vultures are being wiped out and we're losing a lot of forest, a lot of very, very essential, what we could call commodities in the forest, because the forest provides so much for us, apart from the obvious thing, which is the shade and the shelter. But then there's also the incredible oxygenation of the environment, and also forests help to bring the rain. So when you start losing the flora and the fauna, you're going to start having major problems and it's beginning to build up very, very much in Nigeria now. We're losing a lot of species because, you see, extinction is forever. And when a species goes into extinction, it's gone. It's gone. There's a lot of species, especially in the wetland areas, which are tremendous biomes. They have tremendous uh, biodiversity. There's a lot of species there that have not even been identified. The immediate solution has to come from awareness and realization. And this is one of the beautiful things about what the NCF is doing in its awareness programs. One of the flagship awareness programs is the SLEDU lecture. The damage is happening very, very rapidly. And there's a point, a breaking point in this deterioration where we have been warned by the United Nations, by the International Panel for Climate Change that has been given information from the World Meteorological Organizations and from even the Space Research Institutes and so on, that if we allow this deterioration of the atmosphere and biodiversity to continue even for the next 12 years, we could get to a point whereby the process of deterioration shall become unstoppable and eventually catastrophic. So these uh, forest reserves, these have to be very, very diligently protected. Protection of endangered species like the pangolin and the turtle, this needs to be done and it needs to be done with very rigid enforcement. And um, the, the penalties need to be increased so people appreciate the severity of what they are doing. So awareness and then the enforcement of legislation 
And then we are just individuals trying to do your little bit. Stop throwing plastic all over the place in the streets, it goes into the drains, can help to cause floods. You know, stop all this nonsense and know that we are here to care for creation. This is our primary function as humanity on earth. The Edu lecture has always had a, a very good impact because we bring a, a diversity of, of people there, of age groups and so on, a lot of young people, a lot of students, even from the universities as well, and they get awareness. There's also a award of uh, scholarships that are also given. All right, so let's now bring you our feedback segment. And this is the segment where we get to hear your views and comments regarding the program. Should there be any environmental hotspot within your locality that needs government's immediate attention, don't fail to hook up with us on all our social media platforms displaying on your screen. We've got Twitter, we've got Facebook and Instagram page is still at Environ today. After that, we'll bring your environment quotes for this week. years experience in the profession. She currently works with Africa Independent Television, AIT as a reporter and the presenter. Her investigative journalism skill, which she deploys effectively in covering environment and public health issues for AIT, presenting the station's breakout, breakfast current affairs program, Kakaki, and reading news on TV as an are several awards. AIT's Unkoli Omodu, who won the 2018 edition of the Media Award, emerged runner-up in the broadcast category for the 2020 edition with an investigative story which exposed tobacco industry's tactics to lure youths into tobacco intake. The way they are thinking of this, they think that is something that is not okay. But for me, I do with Shisha, but I don't see any side effects on it. You understand? Because or even Zuki down with their hand and cigarettes. But as I prefer smoking shisha than cigarettes. At least one stick of cigarette it can affect you. One stick of cigarette. But this if you like smoke ten pots, you won't get an infection of shisha. You like be smoking the regular or occasionally it's gonna affect you. Do you smoke? No, not at all. You don't smoke? I don't take shisha. You only take shisha? Uh -huh. Okay, shisha is not smoking. It's the part of smoke, but it's different from smoke. So, cigarettes and all this in the arm stores. What makes it different? This, just because of the flavor. It's different from all those cigarettes. And I hear a lot about cigarettes. Like, the damage at and weed, all those in the eye to make women being out Cool stores. I respectfully invite the keynote speaker to present this award and the Right, that's where we draw the curtain on today's episode of the program. It's been a pleasure presenting it to you. I do hope your stay with us was also worth your while. We'll be here again same time next week with a fresh package. Until then, remember that environment is life. Let's join hands to preserve it. My name remains Unkoli Omaudu, and on behalf of all the entire crew of Environment Today, we wish you the very best. Bye.